in Reseda, where she spoke with family members. Candace. Yeah, such a terrible incident. The family says they have no enemies, they're friendly with their neighbors, and they have no idea who would put the noose in their yard. And officers here at the West Valley Station are wondering the same thing. I was panicking. I thought, you know, they, they know where I live. They, they know that we're black. This young woman and her family did not want their faces shown. They're terrified after discovering a noose hanging from the tree in the backyard of their Reseda home. Her grandfather, especially shaken by the racist symbol. You know, at my age, you know, I kind of went through that, that, that era. And I, uh, I really, uh, it, it took me back to when I was a kid. So, and I was very emotional. The family believes someone cut the fence in their backyard late Tuesday night, crept onto their property, and tied the noose to the tree. They say nothing like this has happened to them in the 30 years they've lived here. When asked why they may have been targeted, they believe it may be linked to the guilty verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial. The climate is racially charged at the moment, but that also gives incentive to people who are racist to come and do things like this. LAPD officers were called out and took the noose. They're investigating the incident as a hate crime. The family says they now plan to install security cameras in the backyard. They also plan to cut the tree down after this terrifying incident. Although shaken, they won't let this act of hate dampen their spirits. I love all our people and I think we're all we're all the same. You know, we're all in this together. Again, the LAPD investigating this incident as a hate crime. They haven't been able, though, to find any video of the incident. The family says that they wanted to speak out to say that this sort of hate has no place in the community. We're live in Reseda tonight. Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News.